Good morning, everyone. We are back and market watchers observe recent stock declines. We result of a weak fourth quarter earnings of companies in the S&P 500 index. Joining us this morning and also entertaining us this morning to help us understand it all. We got Bruce Allen back. He is a financial advisor locally with Bruce G. Allen Investments. Bruce, good morning. Good morning. So as we talk about all of this, let's answer the big question first, which I mean, what's even been going on lately here? I think there's a couple things. One is that we've gotten some very good jobs data, which you would think would be very good, but that's really concerned the market because if the jobs market's really growing rapidly, rates are going to rise. The secondly, second thing is that what we're seeing is that earnings that are coming out for the stocks on the stock exchange, every quarter companies report how their earnings are doing. It's like when your child comes home with a report card. And the earnings have been declining year over year. Typically, when the economy is growing, they're growing year over year. And what we saw is that the fourth quarter earnings so far, companies are reporting earnings from October 1st of last year through December 31st, are down a little bit under 3%. And that shows that the recession may be taking hold. Okay, so is this the prediction for 2023, or is this what we're seeing actually right now? We're seeing this was what happened in the fourth quarter. Okay, gotcha. But I'm glad you asked about yeah. 2023. That's next. So we're gonna, let's talk about that. So 2023, what we're going to see likely, and this is guesses or estimates of all the Wall Street analysts, is that the first two quarters, from January 1st through June 30th, earnings are going to decline a little bit under 3%. And I should warn you that those earnings numbers are coming down. They'll probably be down more like 5% before this is all over. But if you look at the third quarter and the fourth quarter, they're going to rebound. So the belief on Wall Street is that the first half of this year is going to continue to be negative, but the second half is going to see a rebound in earnings as the economy starts to recover. Now, Bruce, I want to ask you a question that I can already hear people at home who are watching this asking, which is if, look, the numbers that you're showing us, if we're going to be seeing these earnings going into a decline, why is the stock market up so far this year? Great question. The, the, the stock market is anticipatory. So the significant decline in the market happened last year from the beginning of the year through the middle of October in, anticip in anticipation of the economy slowing down and earnings declining in the, in the fourth quarter, the first quarter, and the second quarter of this year. The market's rising this year, especially some of the smaller and mid-cap names are rising because the market's looking through the next six months to what's going to happen in the second half of the year. Typically, stock markets anticipate the recovery of the economy and they start rebounding sometimes three to 11 months in advance of the turn of the economy. So as we're talking about all of this anticipation for any investors at home who are watching right now, how should they be reacting to this news? Yeah, there's two things. One is markets are impossible to time. Number two, it's very difficult, especially when the economy may be recovering in the second half of the year to time what's going to happen with the market. So investors that have a plan should stay with their plan because as we look at those numbers, if you look at the third quarter and the fourth quarter, um, then those numbers are again guesstimates, but it's likely that the second half of this year, the economy and the stock market will start recovering and that recovery may already be underway. And those, the first months of that recovery can be pretty steep. Yeah, so we see kind of a gradual, in, uh, a, a gradual incline there when you go from for the first quarter to second quarter to third quarter, and that's a pretty sharp incline there in the fourth quarter. Is that yeah. standard? Well, I don't think there's anything that's standard that's on true. the stock market, yeah. sadly. But what we're seeing this time is that the earnings estimates, and, and it's, I should be straight with you, that there, we will likely see the first quarter and second quarter come down more. The, the more negative analysts okay. are saying it's likely to be a negative 5%, not negative 3%, but those are guesses. Okay, yeah. The second quarter, it looks like, or excuse me, the second, or the second half of the year, in the fourth quarter, those numbers have been stable. And it's likely that whatever economic damage that we're going to see in the first half of this year will be recovering by the fourth quarter. At least that's the belief yeah. of the stock market right now. All right. Well, we're going to have to see what happens then, we'll won't watch we? Watch and see. All right, Bruce, thank you so much. Good to see you.